Welcome back. Happy Worm Day. Let's take a look at our bin two and see what we have going on here. We had a little bit of um, preventative care we had over on this one a couple weeks ago, and it was looking much better two weeks ago when we checked on it. Just getting the worms off of this thing so I don't lose them. This is the cover I have to sort of help keep the moisture trapped in. So that the worm, oh my God, look at that. This worm got himself stuck underneath the bubble wrap. What a dummy. Um, just to keep them nice and moist and so they can come all the way up to the surface and leave their castings. So I can leave the beautiful castings just like that right on the surface. Um, as always, we are going to start with a little bit of harvesting. So we have this part over here, which was left uncovered. And so this is dried out. So as you can see, as I'm going through here, there's, there's hardly any worms. And later on, when we check over here, you can, you'll be able to see that it's like 100% worms. Um, there's just worms everywhere in there. So because these are finished castings, these are where I always put the finished stuff. I can very easily just harvest a good amount off the top. There's very little worms in here. There might be one or two, but nothing that'll hurt the population of my worm bin. And I just very easily have stuff ready to go into the garden. And every time I do it, I have a little bit. And I can just kind of keep adding to my garden as I go. As always, I like to come in and really feel through, check on the status of the bin, make sure it's a good environment for my worms, and check on the health healthiness of my worms in general. And then also, the other benefit of going through and doing this is because I'm using a plastic-sided, you know, you know, tote that I got from Home Depot. <laughs> Um, there's not a lot of oxygen that gets into the system, so going through here and fluffing up all of the castings helps get oxygen down, which promotes the type of bacteria that I like to have. Um, that's good for the worms. It smells nice and fresh. When it starts smelling nasty, one of the, one of the reasons for that is it's got some of the, the anaerobic bacteria, like kind of the smell we kind of associate with a sewer because sewers don't have a lot of oxygen in them either. Um, so I can kind of tell if I've got not getting enough oxygen. And one of the things that can also prevent the oxygen from getting down there is too much moisture in the system. The water can act like a barrier and not allow the air to penetrate. So, so some air will get down here, um, just naturally, even if I don't fluff it up like that. Ooh, look at that. We got like a little, it's just like the tomato skin and just the tiniest little bit of flesh left because the worms have eaten it all out. Look at that. So as I also go and fluff up, if I see anything that's that needs a little bit more time to process, I will toss it over to the side where I always feed. That way the worms will have a little bit more time to, to go in there and eat it. And I'll just have more of the finished castings over here on the right side of the bin. So this is like, uh, there's like flow through systems. People do it with much longer systems. So there's much more space to go through between the feeding, the food side and the um, finished side. I kind of just, I'm trying to imitate that a little bit with my little mini flow through bin. So now I'm sort of getting to where I fed last time. So you can see some of the, some of the skins of the tomato pieces that they had. And you can see a whole lot more worms. Just, just worms for days and days. And they look nice and pink and healthy. That's what I like to see.
This isn't overly wet, as I'm feeling through here, but it, it's, it, you know, well, it's well within, like, the safe zone, but it's probably on, like, the wet side of the level of moisture you want. Um, like, you can sort of describe the moisture you want as, like, a well-wrung-out sponge. So, like, if you went and you squeezed it, maybe you'd get a few drops, but you wouldn't get a lot. And it certainly wouldn't drop any water just by holding it, which it's not doing. So it's, it's definitely on the healthy side. But as I'm picking it up, it is quite heavy, which means there is a lot of moisture just in the system. Which means I should probably continue to add cardboard to help absorb it. Um, to have a place for the moisture to go so it doesn't get overly wet. You can see here, as I'm getting into the worms, there's they there's still like a little bit of food in the system. It's starting to cool down now that it's in the middle of October and there aren't they aren't eating quite as fast as they did when it was nice and warm. I uh, still got tiny little bit of here's a little bit of uh, watermelon peel there's just a tiny little bit of flesh left on it and so even though that's it's very very healthy worm population look there they are hanging all out in the bottom they like to hang out in the cardboard the cardboard is referred to as bedding it's like their house it's where they like to live um, so when I pull it up and you see all the cardboard, that's that's where I'm getting the most worms. I just love picking it up and seeing the gigantic population of worms just hanging out in their, their little cardboard home. Coming up and eating the uh, food above them whenever they get a little bit hungry. It's like a nice little worm B and B we're putting it together. They got the they got the nice bed to stay in as well as a nice little breakfast to come back to. All right, I'm gonna leave a little bit of castings here on the bottom, some of the more finished stuff, just because it's it's got all the right types of bacteria on it. So when I add more on top of it, the bacteria that the worms like to eat will go ahead and colonize it more quickly. So let's add in some of my add in a good amount of bedding there we go so this is this is all just uh, shredded newspaper and a few boxes we got I always add in my coffee grounds from the week you can see it is it is getting you know got moldy because it's been there for a week but that's what the worms like so it's it's good stuff so that being said if I don't break these up, these are kind of, kind of tightly packed. They won't be able to get at them so easy. So I'm just breaking it up a little bit just to make it a little bit easier for them so they, they can break it down. This is very much like, uh, I don't know, chips of the warm wa world. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a nice, easy snack. Maybe not the most, you know, nutritional, but it'll, they'll eat it up quickly. They're very happy to have it nitrogen heavy good for them here we have a um, little bit of ground eggshells from our eggs throughout the week worms are like birds in that they have gizzards the eggshells help them grind up their food it's like their teeth they keep their teeth and then here we got here's our uh, some of our food that's gone bad throughout the week here's a cucumber I grew that we never quite got to. Oh wow, that is that is very much ready. I'm just breaking it up just to make it easier for the worms to get onto the inside. And then some of this other stuff is frozen. So I would normally break this up, but I I can't. Um, Cause it's frozen, frozen solid. And a banana. A little bit of, little bit of pepper. And uh, just another smaller cucumber. And then I'm going to go ahead and the, what, it, what you saw is not only did I break it up to get them in, but I, I made it only like a single layer deep. So I don't have like stuff on top of stuff so that they can like kind of access it from above and below, which makes it a lot easier for them to actually get to it and eat it. I'm going to take some of the more recent stuff and pile it up next to it. That way I have 
the new food here as well as some of the stuff from last feeding. I have some, the rest of the stuff from last feeding. This is from like two or three feedings ago and all the way over here is like four or five feedings ago and this stuff is is ready to harvest so i can't even just open this up throughout the week if i'm planting something and i want to give it a good start with some fresh fresh castings for my fall garden here we're in san diego so we can we can garden through the winter brassicas and stuff um i can i can go ahead and just grab some right from here okay that's my worm bin. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for staying to the end, and I'll see you next time.